Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot. I'm Detective Scott, and you are watching the Parasite Eve EX game. Let's play. Some fucking mouthful. All right, so we finished uh, the 57th floor last episode, so we're moving on to the 58th floor this episode. Oh god, I almost lost my penny. All right, there we go. My penny that marks my maps and my guide. So we got two floors, three floors really left to go, and then the boss. Maybe I should have gone to the 59th floor. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully that's enough. That sounded weird. It's like they hit them all at once. Those guys have yet to hit me with one of their explodey balls. Alright, we have a right turn. And then we go... What? Lots of options here. Oh god. There's a lot of different options. Okay. So then it goes into a... If I go to the right here, there might be an elevator? Guys, come on. I'm busy. Oh, of course they went in the opposite direction. That other one's gonna run, though. Stop! I... That seems to work a little bit. I'm, it's hard to. I should start counting them when there's two of them. Counting the shots that is, because I'm. I try to like cancel out of the animation, because you can press X to get make the they ran away thing uh, symbol to go away. All right, so that narrowed down a lot of the different maps. I'm like, uh, there's a. This is probably the biggest group of them. Is the ones that start with a right turn and then make a downward right turn. And the enemies seem to be persistent on not letting me get anything done. Of course. Now why did that one shot not hit the rat? It's a good question. And then this should be a downward turn, I think. I'm right. Oh wait, this isn't... Okay, so it's not that map. Could be this one, though. We all have to go down a few screens to find out. Hmm, I just thought of something about what this next boss is, but I'm gonna keep those thoughts myself. All right, going down here, if I were on the map that I think we are, would lead to a, a trail that leads to a dead end. So, okay, I think I know which map we're on now. So I'm grateful for that. And here we have. A tool. Very nice. I have many of those now. Another tool? Damn. Well, we haven't really gotten any other tools on this set of floors. Alright, three tools. I guess it wants us to do some weapon work. Maybe that's why it gives you all these, like, random shit weapons, so it, you can, like, uh, just make upgrades as you go. Just transfer the, the stats over to your main weapon. That makes sense, actually. And then my inventory at the station wouldn't be bursting to full. Going down here is a dead end, by the way. From here, we can just follow the path. Uh, yeah, I'm actually recording this on a weeknight, which I can't remember the last time that happened. Corey had to close tonight, and I didn't really have anything else to do, necessarily. But we're having another party Saturday, so tomorrow I'll probably try to get some cooking done early. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Glad I thought of it. Yeah, because then I don't have to cook Saturday. Or Sunday. Well, I guess I could cook Sunday, because Corey um, is working Sunday, so that kind of sucks, but I will. Wow, I'm back over a thousand. Weird how it bounces out. Glad the right died. So I got another right turn map. Give me the ammo. Yeah, it's weird how the ammo just has a way of balancing out. It's almost like the game knows or something. Because I can't seem to get much further ahead than a thousand, though. Oh, wow. They immediately get to the storage room. Uh, that means I already know what map we're on. Oh, God. This floor is huge, though. It's going to take forever to get there. Uh... Alright. 
three boxes. A Type 38 trading card. I haven't seen that one in a while. A CR of Aid plus four. Very nice. And an SP Armor 2, which looks like it has attack up. So let's see here. Wait. Oh, that was armor, wasn't it? I, whenever it says attack, I just automatically assume, you know. Alright, so the PE energy. It looks like the PE energy in my weapon's not very high, but I didn't spend any BP on that, so that makes sense. I still got some space in my inventory, thankfully. Okay. Out we go. And then we're just going to have to start working our way downtown. Let's see, which way do I want to go here? Uh, I want to go up, because going to the right is a dead end. Okay, uh, let's go to the right here. And then we'll just keep following the path. Go down. Okay, down we go. Sorry, I was, uh, I have a friend that's reading Cursed Child right now, and she's like, well, Lauren, you guys saw her in that one stream, and she's kind of like live reading it not lit reading it live literally but like um telling me her thoughts as she goes so kind of distracting because i really am interested in hearing what she has to say about it meanwhile we just keep following the path whoever designed this building needs to be shot i could probably look it up on wikipedia though to be honest or probably other sources too there's a dog outside barking i doubt you guys can hear that though Little scrap dog, I hate those. Alright, and then we get here, to the left is a dead end. And then we go up. I think, right? Yes, okay. The elevator's gonna be on the next screen. Wow, the enemies are kinda leaving me alone for a little bit. I'll probably run into them on the next screen. No, they don't appear on the elevator screens. And then from here, oh, there we go. Just keep on moving. And then, oh God, perfect time to reload Aya. Way to go. Oh, I'm fucked now. Oh, I still got him, nice. made it back. That floor only took 16 years to get through. Hopefully the uh, 60th floor isn't huge. And then we go up. Alright, so now I need to pull up my 60th floor map because that is a set layout. Okay, here we go. Oh god, it's huge. Oh, it's so weird looking. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get there. Damn it. <laughs> and the storage room's like way out of the way. Why did I do this? Why? It's like a giant floor. I, I, I can't even, I don't have any words. Okay. Oh. This is the large rest talking about. So is this like kind of a mini boss? Probably don't want to get hit by that. That was easy. Maybe I should have given him a chance to hurt me. <laughs> if I run into another one, I may. <laughs> Random just run into a giant rat like that though. And then turn right. And then we go right again. I'm 
I'm gonna have to like pay careful attention um, to this map because there's so many. It, it's laid out super weird. All right, like there's a whole branch of different ways to go if I go to the right here, but they all lead to dead to down. Let me see if I can. I was hoping to run into the rat again. Got him. Wait, I can't believe I just used that reference. I never really liked it. <laughs> we'll turn. Oh, maybe that is definitely a bigger splotch of slime than what I'm used to seeing. I am still going the right way, aren't I? I sure hope so. Yeah, because I think... Yeah, okay. Th wasn't it on the last floor that I'd like to shoot whoever came up with the layout to this building? Well, whoever came up with the layout to this floor. <laughs> I mean, there's not even, like, doors to offices or shit. Unless I'm supposed to assume that... No, those are lights. Those aren't doors. Okay. I don't know. Right, it's a dead end, down is a... we want to go down here. I would want to go left and then up to get to the boss, but the, like I said, the storage room's kind of out of the way, so I have to go out of my way to get there. And then I'm going to have to make my way back to the elevator even after that. It sucks. Wait, um... Okay, go, keep, I keep going right. I wonder what the 70th floor is like. It doesn't look at quite as annoying as the 60th floor. But still pretty annoying. And then up. And then we should be able to make an immediate left, and then the storage room will be right there. Man, maybe I should have done one more floor in the last video. I wonder what the, how the time's at. Oh, we still got a little bit of time. Alright, and here we have... A rocket in my pocket. And an MP5 SD6, which has a uh, rate of fire times three and rapid fire. And the stats don't look too bad either. And lots of slots to customize stuff. This would be a decent weapon if I didn't have such an overpowered cannon. <laughs> okay. Go back from the way we came. Quite a waste. <laughs> I hate it. So I think the enemies stop appearing altogether on the ten, ten prior floors once you defeat the boss of that. Because that's why the music stops and you can just go anywhere. Makes sense to go another floor. I guess they allow you to keep traveling back to pa past floors in case you missed like a storage room. That makes sense. And then we want to go left here. Right? Yes. And this will be a four way. And then we'll go up, and then we'll be at another four-way. And from here, we just need to keep going up. And then I think we just got like to go straight a little bit to get there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use a medicine four because this guy probably hits hard if I'm. If I had to guess. And then maybe a... I don't want to use a heal, but hopefully I won't need it. And it's boss time. And we have... Giant enemy crab number two. Ah, oh, shit. I did not want to counter right then. But the thing is, I have the burst effect now, so I can just, um, dodge shit. So let me use haste. Shit. I always forget that it's going to make me do it that way. And then I'll shoot five times. Oh shit, it hurts so bad. Well, I had to use revive at the something of the world. 
I can't believe I dodged that, to be honest. I guess I, it's probably going to be better for me if I just use haste and then um, maybe heal three. Hopefully I won't need to again. I don't know how much HP this thing has. I need to repeat my tactics of getting to the side of it. Thing is, the the moving uh, aspect of this does not work as well for... When you only have one shot. Oh wow, the crap, the thing's already dead. Thank God for haste. I need to use it again though. And I think the map is a little bit smaller this time, so there's that too. Doesn't he have a new attack now? Or am I forgetting something? No bubbles. Ten bullets though. How much HP could he have? I mean his claws went down quickly. He's just gonna circle around while I'm shooting, apparently. Oh shit, I ran right into that. And now I'm countering. Just keep shooting. Oh fuck, oh, did that do 636 damage? Now I'm glad I have all those revives. I'm making me its bitch, to be honest. Um, haste. I wonder if liberate would work. Uh, I'm trying, to be honest. Die, the creature. HP out the ass, damn. Ooh, that one almost got me. Oh, thank God. Damn, I was starting to wonder if he was going to go down. Ah, but I got it. Chrysler Key 6, thank God. And that kind of stressed me out for a minute. This attacks hit hard, man. So there's the pathway to the 61st floor. That'll be the last 10 standard floors. But first, we got to get out of here. And that was also the last boss rehash, because the 70th floor boss and the 77th and the 77th floor boss are wholly original. But at least I don't have to worry about um, running into any more encounters while I'm doing this now. And the elevator's not that far away either, thankfully. Up and then to the right. It'd be funny if, well, I mean, we gotta go down 60 floors. It'd be funny if there was, like, some elevator music or something. I always picture the Yashas Massif theme when I'm using this. Hope you guys enjoyed that. But anyway, um, I also hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're getting close now, mitochondrians. I almost called you guys guardians. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. I'm Scott from the Scott Spot. Later.